What's going on here? What's up guys, this is Ozzy Van Man, and where are we today? Today we are in Astoria, Oregon. Beautiful, beautiful place here. And this is Flavel House. It's a historic house, more like a mansion. I think it's absolutely gigantic. Also, it was uh, used in the filming set of The Goonies. Uh, this is where the father of the main characters uh, worked as a museum curator and as you see him waving off the front of the uh, front steps there when the kids are riding their bicycles down the hill uh, that's the filming location for that set but we're going to be going in there and checking it out because it is an actual museum and it looks really cool but check this out look at the size of this tree behind me let's have a look at that This thing is absolutely astronomical. The thing, look how thick the base is. So this uh, tree is taller than this mansion. The mansion is huge. And then look how massive this is. I'm gonna get a shot here real quick of how thick this is in comparison to me. Check this out. size of this guys look how thick this tree is I'm all the way out I'm a six foot two guy and my arms are pretty long and I can't even spread across this entire tree it's absolutely amazing what the hell So we got my ticket, we got that in the visitor center here where we buy the tickets. This actually used to be the carriage house apparently once upon a time. We still have the old doors there and a couple of carriages sitting in here as an example. Let's see what else we got in here before we head down. So here we have a panoramic view of Astoria in 1879.
So right here we're in the uh, library and there's some really cool old books all through this place and very very nice ornamental decorations. We have a we have a fireplace right there. I love all the old stuff that they have in here. Look at the chandelier right there, that's amazing. It looks like they got velvet curtains up there as well. I love this uh, river steamboat painting that they have there. They have a lot of paintings of ships on the walls, which is really cool. And it's hard to believe that uh, they were going to uh, knock this down and turn it into a parking lot at one stage. It's, it's a great thing that they uh, were able to save this and preserve it for history for all of us to come and see. I mean, here we have a little bathroom. They did have running water and flushable toilets back then. Uh, so here we have a um, we have the running water sink right there. Little sink right there. You can see the stonework on there. Very very cool. Uh, everything in this house was cutting edge, top of the line for its time and. They did not. They didn't spare a single dollar. They um, went all out, the best of the best, whatever they could get. Uh, it was designed by a German architect, and it's extremely. I think for the time when it was built, it cost thirty-six thousand dollars to build. I don't know what the current rate would be today, but it's a lot of money for back then. Incredible amount of money. So here they probably would have eaten their breakfast and then warm sunlight would have come in and on an early morning when it was a bit chilly, it would have uh, kept them nice and warm in the day. Now I always love checking out the kitchens of old, kitchens of old time because they always have really cool uh, wood cooking stoves or coal cooking stoves. And this one is no exception. It was probably the best that money could buy at the time. Let's have a look at it. So as you can see, as descriptive here, the warming closet was at the top. You catch the heat, keep your food warm. Then we have six hot plates here, another giant hot plate there. Ash pan at the bottom, all these little compartments here. This would have acted as an oven in here. Okay, so the attic is closed off, but we do have some pictures here. What it looks like up in the attic there. That's the attic. Okay, so this is quite a large bedroom, but this is one of the children's bedrooms. And even it has nine foot high ceilings and it's quite spacious with windows all around. Yeah, tell you what, those kids had a good. Here's some uh, toys that they might have had back in their time and some clothing. Here's a view of the street from out here. Looks like the roof needs resailing.
little trunk for all their toys to go in. Funny story, I used to have one of these when I was a kid. Child's bed, it's quite large for a child. Okay, so along with the uh, luxuries of having hot water running at the time and plumbing, they also had a bathtub which they could run hot baths for. So they would have been feeling very comfortable for their time to be able to come and just have a hot bath is a luxury that a lot of people didn't have back then. Look at the size of these bedrooms, they're absolutely gigantic. Pretty sure this bedroom's the size of my last apartment that I had. <laughs> and the closets you could pretty much walk into. As you can see. Oh, we got some stets and hat boxes then. Here we have a secondary bedroom, which is the joined. And we also have a day bed right there in the day room, if you can see. So you, they would have been able to lay there and read their books and do their art or whatever it is that they wanted to do and lay in the sun. Very cool. So here you can see the ornamental finials that they had on the roof. This one with the sunflowers on it was on top of the uh, large cylinder part of the house that went all the way up to the watch out and from this watch out he used to be able to look out and see a 360 view of the entire city mm -hmm. look at the view over the city that they had from their bedrooms you can see the ships coming in the port We have another bedroom, I'm guessing, oh yeah, Nelly, I'm not sure which, uh, uh, she was the eldest of the Flavel girls, this was her bedroom, she had a walk-in closet also, quite a large room, very, a lot of sun, a lot of windows, and then uh, adjoining the next bedroom, we had uh, another tap so they could wash their face and brush their teeth and etc. Here we have Katie's bedchamber. Katie was 21 when she moved into this house. So this was her bedroom. Very, very fine positions. The true story of the 
all right guys so that's it for me that's flavel house absolutely amazing house um i can only really compare it to another mansion that i went to i forgot the name of it but it's the pretty much one of the biggest guys in flagstaff he owned all the timber mills and all that and i did uh, his mansion once but i didn't make a video on it all right guys uh you know what to do hit like subscribe let me know in the comments have you been to this place or any other historical mansions or houses like this and what did you like about them all right guys until next time this is ozzy van man we'll see you later what's going on here